within the past few years, uh, there's been a number of uh, incidents where people are pointing lasers at air aircraft and where these lasers can uh, distract a pilot during critical phases of flight. Uh, according to FAA statistics gathered by the FAA and the FBI, uh, and they publish a we website on the FAA Laser Initiative, um, their statistics show that from 2006 through 2014, there's been a 10 times increase in the number of reported laser incidents on aircraft. Um, and with nearly 4,000 laser incidents per year. Uh, and if you break that down, that looks like about 100 laser incidents per day. Uh, so it is uh, something that's caught the attention of the FAA. In fact, to curb these incidents, uh, the president signed into law in 2012 making the pointing of a laser at an aircraft a federal crime, which carries with that uh, jail times and fines. And even with that, we see this continued uh, number of uh, laser incidents. I've read several reports and uh, have talked uh, to pilots that have been lased, is the term they use. Um, and they talk about this uh, very bright light uh, and how distracting it was. They weren't expecting it uh, and how difficult it was to focus on the instruments, how um, they felt this temporary flash blindness where they had uh, difficulty focusing in on the instruments and seeing outside for a few moments and then were able to recover their vision and, uh, and continue the flight safely. Um, but the biggest is this startle, this distraction, this temporary flash blindness that can occur during these critical phases of flight, takeoff, landing, taxi in the airplane.